before we can start. Oh, there they are. I need my shoes here. Holy cow. I need new shoes. These are well loved or have been well loved. What's going on y'all? Mikey here. Well, not quite shooting the typical high adventure video. So my neighbors just moved out. In fact, actually, this is a rental. And I noticed something the other day on the property. I'll just cut through right here. And it was a cooler. I think it's a cooler. And I know the owner of the house, or I've met him. And I said, man, if they leave a cooler back here, do you mind if I get it? Because I've been wanting something for making a live bait tank for the boat. And yes, it is a cooler. I thought it looked like a cooler. Anyway, he said, yeah, man, go for it. If they leave anything, just help yourself. So here we are at this cooler. I don't know why they left it. Let's see, what's the brand? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't think I've ever seen that brand before, but it's just kind of sitting out back here in the woods, actually, behind the house. And on first glance, it's got that one on that side. Looks like it's a, uh, it's an okay condition. It's got a measuring tape on the top. It's up to 24 inches. Let's see that. It's busted on that side. That one's fine. Any cracks in it or anything? I don't know. It's still got the little screw down there. I mean, it looks like it's in okay condition. Now well, let's open it up. See why it's all. What the? Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. That's the worst smell. I gotta get away from that. Oh my heavens. That's the worst smell I think I've ever smelled in my life. Well, I think I know why they left it behind. Oh my Lord, have mercy. Okay. I'm gonna just, oh my gosh. What the, those are bones. Oh my, I wonder if those waters were still good. <laughs> oh my gosh, the, the, look at the, those are big boats. I can't, <coughs> oh my heavens. I can, I can typically stomach a lot of smells, but that. I don't know if I can make that work. Liquefied meat. We have a meat soup in that cooler. I don't know if you can clean that out enough to make something live in that. Man, it just seems such a waste though. Just leave a perfectly good cooler here. Gosh, I'm like, I'm like five feet away from it and I can smell it already and the lid's closed. I don't know y'all if this is gonna work, but I feel like we have to try. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this over to my side and we're gonna try cleaning this thing out here. I mean, the cooler's totally free, and it's a really heavy-duty cooler. We gotta at least try. We gotta see if we can get it cleaned up here. It's worth a shot. Hello, blueberries. Hey, you. Hey, out. What are you doing? Stay away from this cooler. Oh, check it out. We got our raspberries growing. They almost died last year because we planted them in the wrong spot, but we transplanted them to the garden. They're looking pretty good. And I'm Arabella. <laughs> what you got going over here, Boo? What are you oh. planting? Um, we have some little tiny seeds. What kind oh, of seeds what are kind those? What kind of seeds are they? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Oh boy. Oh, and there's Poppy, the one-eyed kitty. Hi, Poppy. Poppy, what are you eating? Is she eating <laughs> a nut? Yes, she is. You're not a squirrel, Poppy. Poppy, you're not a squirrel. <laughs> Poppy, hey, you're not a squirrel. Okay. Oh, hey, can I have an M&M? She got only green M&Ms. Thank you, baby. Mm. Oh, I mean, okay. Papa's got to stay on track here. We got to clean this cooler out. We're going to come all the way back here to the corner of our property. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. You can dump all that out there. We'll come back and grab those water bottles later. Oh, what kind of bones? Like those are, oh gosh. Oh, those are, what kind of bones are those? Oh, I can't, I can't even. I'm about ready to just toss this whole thing down there. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, I gotta step away for a second. Whew. Oh, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and grab this. And uh, set them right there. The first thing we do is just open it up. Open it up and run away, basically. Oh my heaven. Extreme cold series. There you go. <laughs> Didn't keep that meat cold. It got liquefied. What we're gonna do is gonna open this bottom drain up. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna open bottom drain up. All right, this is the first rinse down here. We're gonna give this thing. Oh, hey, check it out. It's got a beer can opener on the edge. Oh, both edges. That's awesome. Bonus. The best word to describe that smell is rancid. That is a rancid smell. Yeah, this is interesting. Look at this. It almost looks like, see that right there? There's one there, like two stains. Oh, that still smells bad. But those two stains remind me of like a razor blade. What are razor blades and big bones doing in a cooler? I don't know if I want to know. Let's just clean this out. Okay, that looks pretty well dried out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some baking soda, not to be confused, baking powder. And I had a neighbor tell me that this actually gets rid of odors. It like soaks up odors, I guess. I remember my mom used to put like an open box of this in the fridge to help with odors. So I think what we're just gonna do, we're just gonna take it and just apply it liberally. because There are plenty of odors to be soaked up here veritable snow of baking soda. Now we're just gonna close this. So I'm gonna sprinkle some just around in the general vicinity of this thing. This thing is just gnarly. There we go. We're just gonna leave this for like the next 24 hours. Let that baking soda go to work and hopefully, uh, I don't know, hopefully get rid of the odors, I guess. It's pretty well coated everywhere. So hopefully it does the trick. We'll see. Okie dokie. It's actually been like a week. I said I'd leave this for a few days, um, but it's been a solid week. And I've kind of uh, kept it open and then closed it and all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna see how this smells here. Well, I'm not running away, that's good. It definitely still stinks. It smells like a cat box is what it smells like. It smells like a dirty litter box. Well. That's an improvement from what it was. Uh, we went from almost throwing up at the smell to smelling like a litter box. So I brought with me just some regular dish soap. So we're gonna go ahead and scrub this out now with some dish soap and then hit it with a little vinegar. I've heard vinegar takes uh, the smells out of stuff too. So we're gonna give it the old one-two punch here. Take our soap, apply liberally. Give this a scrub down. Just being in close proximity with this, after that dawn clean, this thing smells way better already. Next, we've got this distilled white vinegar. Again, was told that this would be a good option for uh, getting stink out of stuff. So I'm gonna just basically throw it all in all over everything. That vinegar sure is strong. Woo. Get it soaked all over everything. There we go. I think we're gonna let this vinegar just kind of soak on this cooler for about an hour. And uh, then we'll go ahead and rinse it off. I think we'll give it one more soapy bath here. That smells a lot better. That's smelling a lot better. All right, y'all, it's the next day. I let the cooler sit overnight with all the soap in it, and it definitely smells better, but we're not all the way there, not to where I would like it to be. So I actually have some high concentrate bleach, and we're just gonna dump all this in. This is actually a suggestion for my bro, Ace. He said, dude, bleach will be your best friend to get rid of odors. So the vinegar definitely helped. Obviously just the washing it out with soap and water helped, but like, I don't know. I don't want to be down in the low country of South Carolina on the water with gators and my boat reeks of rotting meat. Um, yeah, that just doesn't seem smart to me. So we're gonna try to get this thing as clean as possible. Everything I've read online, like you don't even need to let it soak that long, but I'm thinking because that rotting meat was in there for so long, I mean, it was in there long enough to liquefy. So there we go. 
That's about good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Let all that bleach just soak up in there. In about an hour we'll rinse it out and move on to the next step, hopefully. All right, we've rinsed the cooler out thoroughly and we'll set them right here. Yeah, it smells a lot better. Still smell a little stink in there, but when we first got this cooler, it was probably a 10 out of 10 on the stink meter After letting the, the powder sit in there for a week, brought it, brought it down to probably, probably about a seven and a half. And now with the two washings and the vinegar washing, we're down to probably about, mm, probably about a two and a half now. So we're, we're, we're making progress. But what I wanna do next is, since I've just had a bunch of soap and vinegar in there, I'm gonna get some of this creek water and just fill it up with creek water. And it's dirty creek water, but I don't care. That's what I want. I want it to start, start hopefully smelling and feeling like the natural water that's gonna be in there when I put bait in there. What I'm gonna do is we're just gonna do this probably two or three times. I'm gonna just fill it up, let it soak for a couple hours, dump it all out, do it again. And uh, hopefully, like I said, just start kind of changing, uh, changing what this whole thing smells like here. Come back for them later. All right, y'all, we have the cooler ready to go. Well, you know, there's still a little bit of stink in that. I think it's just gonna take a long time to uh, get that worked out. That's what happens when you leave uh, rotting meat in there for several months. I'm thinking, I have recruited my kids, Bella. Hi. And Crockett. Hi. <laughs> Our first test, guys, is to catch some minnows out of the creek. We're gonna put them in the cooler and see if they live, all right? We're gonna start with little baby minnows. Crockett, can I have that net, please? Uh -huh. Thank you, sir. Yeah, they... All right, y'all, let's get to catching some minnows. Let's see if we can't uh, see if Papa's done a good job on getting this thing cleaned out enough to where we can support life. There's some suspended right in this little cubby right over here. Go nice and easy. Here, let me see. What is that? What in the world is that? That does look, it's like a tooth or a claw. What in the world? That's big. It's solid. It's got a little bend in it. It's hollow. Maybe we have dinosaurs back here too. That's crazy. You should go show mama that. Go show mama what you found. That is actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie, wow. Now I gotta watch out for dinosaurs back here too. Good grief. First it's snakes, now it's dinosaurs. Hopefully it's not snakes riding dinosaurs. There we go, now we got some minnows. Oh look, we got a baby bluegill too. There we go. Yeah, look at this, dude. Look at those. <gasps> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Here. Yeah, let's go put them in our cooler. Let's go. All right. All right, here go the first test minnows, Crocky. Here we go. All right, how many do we have? One? Two, three. All right, Cracker, we have four of them in there. Let's get a few more and uh, we'll see if they live, all right? All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> are you throwing rocks in? Distracted. Just put back up in here. Oh, I got him. Wait, what in the world is that? Wait, what? What is this? Whoa, I've never seen this here. Let's hold him over there. This almost looks like some sort of eel thing. Look at that. Oh, it reminds me of like a guppy. Oh, we'll put him in there. More life, we'll see if he survives. That's really weird. What do you think, Crocker? Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? Huh. That's really strange. Well, we'll drop him in. Here we go. Yeah, he swims. All right, we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five of them in there now. I'm gonna go see if I can get a couple more, okay? You keep throwing rocks in the creek, all right? All right. Scare them up my way. Oh yeah, we got some more, got four of them. Yeah, you wanna see? Look at that crock. Isn't that pretty cool? I don't know, I don't know what kind they are. 
They're just good little minnows. Good little stream minnows. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, let's go put those in. Uh, go put them in. Four more. That's perfect. Here we go. Four more minnows for our little bait hatch here. Bait bucket. All right, guys. We've got eight of them in there. This one we're going to start with. These eight little minnows. We'll leave them in here for maybe about an hour or so. And if they're still alive, that's a good sign. That means we've cleaned our little live all out good enough. Let's come back and see if everybody's still alive. Oh my! Yes, indeed. Everybody's still kicking. Nobody's nobody's belly up, right? Huh? Well, okay. Test one done. Well done, my little guinea pigs. All right, let's get these guys emptied out. Go free, my doves. Striking a blow for freedom. New water. Our next contestants were graciously donated by Ethan over at Lake World Bait Shop. We have five large shiners. Come here, one of you. There you go. That is what's going in next. Everybody head on in. So now we've gone from tiny minnows to large shiners. We've got a big one in there. Oh, no, come back. Come here, you. This is why you get a net for this time. Look at that. Nice large shiner right there. We'll see if they live. We're going to give them a couple hours in the bait tank. Make sure nobody starts going belly up. And then we'll move to the third and final stage. The herring. Dun, dun, dun. Moment of truth. Oh man, look at them. Man, they're in there just, just vibing. Because you guys were the guinea pigs, I'm gonna let you go. Swim free. Actually, I wouldn't mind if you multiplied in the creek. Go ahead and do that so I can have unlimited bait here. That would be awesome. There they go. Head on out. All right, let's load this guy up. Go take it for the final test. Here we go. Let's see if Ethan's got some bait for me. Oh yeah, he's got some. He's got plenty. Awesome. Should we answer? Probably shouldn't answer the phone. I need 18 of your strongest uh, herring, and I need the, my cooler filled up with water. Can I do that? Yeah, we'll do that. Awesome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Here comes the true test, ladies and gentlemen. Herring are notorious for just dying. Just cause, just cause they want to die. It's like they'll be living one minute and it's like, oh hey, I feel like giving up the ghost. So if we can keep these guys alive in our cooler, I'll be pretty happy with that. All right, I'll hold this in here. Yes, sir. There we go. That's cool. There we go. Let the test begin. That guy's kind of struggling right there. That's okay. We'll just remember that. See him right there? He's not doing so hot. There you go. Perfect. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah. Ooh, starting to get windy. All right, guys. I actually have this 12 volt aeration system and this is actually a water pump uh it doesn't it's not a bubbler it's a water pump i'll have a link in the description below to this uh in the video so go below if you want to take a look at this and then it's got this really long hose right here actually i should say a long extension cord that i could just plug right onto my batteries in my boat or in this instance i brought this little uh duracell 12 volt that we're gonna plug in let me show you guys how this thing hooks up here. We're gonna just place our pump. Place our pump right in here. 
sink him right down there and then this gets put right along the sides just like this and the little suction cups right there and then just for demonstration purposes we'll go ahead and just plug it in this little 12 volt right here there you go look at that boom aeration going this little guy's struggling come on you got this and i don't know it looks pretty good to me i like this these this got a really good review and i like just the way it moves the water around a little bit more they're just a little bubbler sitting in the bottom you know it just i don't know it, it aerates the water listen you got six different spots where the water comes out and like i said then if i want to change this water while well, like let's say this is sitting on the boat then what i could do is i could take the end cap off put the hose over the side start the pump and just pump all the water out or a majority of the water out and then i could do the same thing then i could drop the pump let's pretend that's the lake drop the pump in the lake put this tube or put this in in my cooler and refill it back up with fresh water so it's kind of an aerator slash live well filler slash live well emptier so it's pretty sweet seems to do the job so far i really like the way this looks about 13 and a half gallons i could probably keep a few dozen herring in here 30 40 herring no problem would be my guess and the insulation should really come in handy in the summertime especially when that heat starts to hit keep everybody cool that's the hardest thing keep these herring nice and cool all right here we go it's been a couple hours now here we go this is a this is an example of what i was talking about i've just got this uh, hooked up to a battery the pump and i've got hooked up to a battery and that's how i'll probably have it rigged in the boat it just run these clamps back to the battery and uh because i'll probably have the whole cooler sitting at the back of the boat anyway but here we go let's see if we've lost anybody let me unplug this here anybody down uh let's see we had 18 in here but i remember there was one there was one already that wasn't doing well. Is that, here we go. Oh wait, no, no, there's still life in him. He's still swimming, Ch technically. He's still alive. It's not doing the best, but he can still be thrown on a hook. Looks like we've got one more over here and he has expired. But I would say two out of 18 over the course of two hours, I would say that, uh, I would say that the cooler is clean. I'm gonna call it y'all. I think we have cleaned this out enough and gotten it sanitized enough to sustain life. We officially have a bait cooler now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited. I think come shrimping season to be able to throw shrimp in here, be able to throw our mullet in here, heck, even like the herring uh, in here as well when we go out on the lake. This is gonna be pretty sweet. I'm excited to have this and for the very cheap price of just the cost of our pump, um, I would say our little DIY uh, revival of the nasty meat cooler was a success. Thank you guys for tagging along with me on this little adventure. Hope you enjoyed the video and as always, I will see you in the next one.